Kevin Garcia with FightHype.com, and we got the one and only, the man himself, Ariel Wani. Ariel, pretty eventful press conference, and got a little crazy at the end there. What do you think happened? Uh, I mean, it was eventful. It was energetic. It was much better than the press conference in uh, in May, I thought. Uh, the crowd was great. They were a great addition. We didn't have the crowd in May. And then, yeah, it's a little weird when the security guards are getting into fights and not the fighters. But, you know, I guess they felt like something needed to be addressed. And uh, it got tense. I was in the back, so I couldn't really see it from your vantage point. But uh, I'm just glad it didn't escalate because it looked like for a moment it was about to, like, combust. Yeah. You know, Jay kept repeating, oh, you know, we, we upset him. We upset him. Do you know what he was referencing? I think he just felt like Nate hasn't brought a lot of energy. And so now he's feeling that energy because he got under his skin in his mind. Yeah. How do you think the fight goes this weekend? I think it's going to be fun. I think Nate's going to do better than people are expecting. I think it goes the distance. And I think the fans are going to win. There you go. There you go. So obviously last weekend, we just had a really big fight. Spence yeah. Crawford. Um, I'm sure you caught the fight. What'd you think? I was there. I oh, was there, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Uh, tremendous performance from Errol, uh, excuse me, from Terrence Crawford. Doing that to Errol Spence. Virtuous performance. Incredible performance. Maybe one of the best we've seen um, in a long time at that level with those stakes and the spotlight on him. So really, really impressive. Number one pound for pound. No doubt about it in my mind. And I can't wait to see what direction. Maybe he goes to 154 now and tries to get some belts up there. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, the rematch is obviously something Arrow said he would potentially call for. But Tim Zhu, uh, he was just made the 154 WBO champ. So it seems like WBO is clearing the way. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Here's a, a crazy question for you, Ariel. Now I'll let you go after this one, I promise. I know you've been here all day. You've been working hard. Appreciate you. Um, Floyd versus Terrence. <laughs> Hypothetical. What do you think would have happened? What's, what's your, your take on that? So someone just asked me before, like, who do I think would be Terrence's toughest test? And I said 2012 Floyd Mayweather. Uh, that's a dream fight. I'll go with Terrence just because he's the active fighter right now. Making uh, a pick. <laughs> uh, but fucking hell, that's a tough ass. That's a tough, tough, tough fight to predict. Uh, I will say shout out to you rocking the Patrick Ewing old school jersey. That's like circa like 96, 97. My man. Are you from New York? We're from New York, baby. Uh, Brooklyn. You already know. My favorite player of all time in any sport. My favorite team of all time. That 97 team, they got screwed by the Miami Heat. Did. They were up three games to one and then P.J. Brown flipped Charlie Ward over and half the team got suspended for game six and then game seven as well. And it was one of the most devastating series of, because I thought that that was the team that was gonna, you know, beat Michael Jordan and finally, you know, get to the finals and win it all. And unfortunately, it didn't happen. So you... I have love for that team, but uh, it breaks my heart. I was gonna let you go, but you went there on the Knicks stuff. So just one last question: How do we do this year? We did, we had a lot of momentum coming off of yeah. last year. Listen, I like the team. Um, I, I'm curious what's gonna end up happening with Julius Randle. It sounds like they're standing pat. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo is a great pickup. You got the Villanova connection there. I adore Jalen Brunson. I'm happy Josh Hart is back as well. Um, it's just, you know, I'm sad to see Obi Toppin go. I, I like Mitchell Robinson a lot. The young guys, Grimes, McBride, solid. I want to keep quickly. We've got something. Is there a piece missing? Yes. I just, I want to see more from Julius. Like, I, I don't like his body language in some of those big games. I don't like he settles for these these bad shots low percentage shots move the ball and and let's be honest jalen is the star like he is the leader everything should run through him and i freaking love that guy i'm so happy that dallas let him you know walk out the door because he has been a godsend that's why we wore the Knicks jersey just to remind them thank, thank you ariel thank you Bye.